it's almost Christmas time! That means snow, if you're lucky. Otherwise, it's synthetic snow. <laughs> the blinding, multicolored, flashy lights, cookies, fire, fires on trees. It's the best holiday after Halloween. And I didn't make a video for Halloween, so you're stuck with Christmas video. And it's about celebration! <gasps> a rainbow! Now get out of here! Christmas only colors! Get out! Get! Get! Let's go over the typical month's traditions. Let me just... Notebook! It's Christmas season! That means a whole month of planning and prepping for two very special days of eating stuffing, lighting a tree on fire indoors, and giving gifts to the family on the very specially decorated tree. And there's also a religious factor, but I don't do that, so we're gonna talk about consumerist things. Ready? Let's go! First day of the month, like every year, I went over to my parents' house so we could get ready and do Christmas things. I brought the essentials, like wrapping paper, tangled fairy lights, and yucky Walmart wax scents that are always on sale. Then started knocking on the door. Let me in. Let me in! Please! Jello cake seems fun. Don't think I'll eat it, though. Something we all know is just how hard one or more parent works during the holidays to get it all done. Ready for the ancient red-suited man to come barreling down your chimney, giving gifts to all. Unless you're mean, which is, uh, kind of a weird holiday. But hey, maybe your parents just want to impress the neighbors. At least that's what it feels like each year. Look at them running around like nuts, hammering lights to random trees, making a billion tiny Pinterest decorations. I mean, seriously. Animatronic reindeer? You're gonna eat up the entire electrical grid! I don't entirely get it, but I'm also not a parent, so... Seeing how hard everyone was working, I wanted to help out and not feel like I was in the way. Cause, uh, I wanna be a little kind during Christmas. Get out of the way! I'm working! Okay. There's always room for help on the outdoor decorations, so I skedaddled outside into the cold and stood around with a hammer and a string of fairy lights. No! You're doing it wrong! How do you... Ah! Get out of the way! Never fear, the Christmas spirit is here! Indoor decor! My specialty! I got back inside, each of my siblings looked like they were doing something, which is really sus. You don't... help? Hmm... Hey, yo! Do you wanna cut down a tree with me? Yes! Walking through the forest for a bit, we'd come across the most perfect spot, just under the old fence. There were these rows of trees as though they'd been planted, but they were absolutely perfect. I was gonna haul one of these trees back home and just set it up by the window so all the passerbys could see. Okay, kid, cut faster. We don't have much time. After dredging back in the muck, we got our pristine tree back home and ready to stand once more in its glorious fashion. It's not the most fun part of Christmas, I'd have to say, though the ornaments make it look very snazzy. Just make sure the animals don't get into it. Sorry, that's just baby. And then there's the sacred tradition two weeks before Christmas of making gingerbread houses and all the little people surrounding it. This is easily the most fun tradition, when you and your siblings are fighting for who gets which candy. Not for decorating, of course. What I've always found so interesting about gingerbread houses was how the people looked. From a time long ago when Animal Con had yet to grow appendages like ears and tails, it really makes you wonder, what were they doing back then that they never really needed those things? And why they were so round? And flat. You know, when I was your age, we had snow this time of year. Enough with the crazy talk. Snow's never gonna be this early again. There's no such thing as Santa and the Pope isn't even real. Ah, Christmas really brings out the existentialism in us all. Probably have to cool it with the sugar eating. Seasonal affective disorder. Take your vitamin D supplements. Also, if it helps, mushrooms in the sun absorb sunlight and magically convert it into vitamin D. Eh. <laughs> Are these even made for eating? It's been two weeks! Oh, fig, two weeks? I gotta buy presents now! Last minute Christmas shopping! We went to the nearest chain store where you could buy anything Christmas themed to your heart's content for a measly $20. Where if you wanted anything meaningful, you should have come earlier because all the small stores closed a week before. And I don't have $100 to spend on felted sheep. They're cute though, I'd just rather buy them for myself. Me and my brother headed our separate ways, each to buy our own little gift for the guests to come. Here's the fun part. Do you buy something considerate? Or maybe whatever looks festive on the nearest counter. That 30% off is looking really sweet. Or, for the artistically inclined, you'll buy some materials and use your adaptable art skills to make something nice. Handmade art piece? 
the lower the expectations of you, the better! Or, if you're not super confident in your family trivia, you can put 20 to $50 bills in a card. Happy Christmas! I hope you like it. I know nothing about you, but everyone likes money. I'm not judging. Getting money in a card is better than the usual 15 paintbrushes per year. It's been a couple minutes. We regrouped and headed for the cash register to purchase our gifts. Hope you chose well! Would you like to donate to the billion dollar company to save children? Uh, no. Next on the list, entertainment for the parents by the kids. It's the school's annual Christmas play. Were you ever forced to take part in one of these as a kid? I was. Each year during the major holidays, especially the religious Christian ones, Christmas, Easter, the school teachers rounded up the kids in elementary school and dressed us little glue-sniffing crayon eaters in the cutest little Christmas gear and had us go over Christmas scripts about whatever Christmas is supposed to be about. I don't know, I just eat cookies. We had like a month to prepare getting our roles assigned and uh, let's face it, there's no way kids can be trusted to pick their own roles. And we'd each spend a couple minutes memorizing our lines during gym time, getting ready for the big play. While some unfortunate children didn't get any roles and either had to sit out or be little backstage assistants. Haha! <laughs> oh, baby dumb! Then, after longing nights and hours of practicing, the show would begin. Hey, psst. Hey. When does it end? That's my kid up there, you meanie! Oh, sorry. Want a gingerbread cookie? And finally, the most wholesome of all, dinner time with the fam. Christmas Eve dinner, where one tenth of the extended family gathers around from every province just for the occasion. And just as is tradition, we'd all bring our own food and gifts to share. Most of us would bring food and gifts. Come here, look, look. Yeah, what? Look here. What is it, Grandma? Look! What? My old photo book of the whole family. All here in this book. Oh, wow, that guy's getting pummeled uh, to his head. Um, on to the food. Probably the most anticipated part of Christmas Eve. Me, mom raccoon, dad raccoon, brother, other brother, that one over there. All presented our offerings to the guests. My 70s jello cake, turkey and stuffing, potatoes, mashed potatoes, to be precise. The best kind. And if you got relatives, they bring their own stuff. Marshmallow and sweet potato, rice ball. And the grandparents brought their own signature old people food. I'm too afraid to eat that. Nobody's too formal here. We just set everything out in the kitchen and anyone can take anything they want. So the kitchen can get a little quirky at times. And once everyone's seated, we do our own family lighting candle tradition where the baby has to light the candles. Not that it's part of a typical Christmas experience. Like, I'm sure you all have your own special event y'all do. Like Christmas carols, exchanging tiny fortune gifts, or dance off. Then we send the children to their table and banish one sad adult. Usually the youngest adult to go sit with the children because there's not enough room at the already full table of like eight adults. And then one or two others will just kind of stand around awkwardly from being so squished at the stupidly overcrowded feast or hang out in the kitchen snacking. I'm sorry. And as conversations go, starting with the typical civil, how's it been? What have you got planned? We slowly get more comfortable, then we encroach on sensitivities because every single family has that one or two persons who can't bite their tongue to save themselves. I don't like your political stance on that thing. Your brain's too small to understand that political thing. I hate that specific group of people. And I hate it here. Then before the tables turn into a yelling map, between the three conspiracy-centric adults getting progressively more angry, we stop the screeching with GAMES! I think I can say with confidence y'all are probably gamers yourselves. So you've probably played one game during times of disarray, or just wanting a leisurely experience. My favorite game is Minecraft. I don't think we could play that here though, you're too old. So how's about it? No. 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 And for the final act of the night, as everyone's settling down from having their feathers ruffled, is the gift giving. Take one, and only one. Hey! Here, I got you something. I just passed by the store, a luxury store, and they made me think of you. I've never gotten anything handmade, ever. Thank you, auntie. We got a hug. I won't see you for months or years. Some of your family will just peace up for the rest of your lives. Really makes you wonder what that cousin went through. I still cherish you no matter where you went. And when I was a small child and you gave me chili fries in Winnipeg, they were disgusting, but you did it for me. Thanks, guy. I hope you're not in prison or a car salesman. Okay, Christmas is tomorrow. Get the trash bags ready and keep the receipts and... I'm sorry, I love you, but I need space. Now. Oh, and the after effects of having family visit? 
sickness. I don't know if you can tell I actually got sick while recording my voice. And this video was out before my family even came to visit, so I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this year's celebration with the fam. How's your family gonna celebrate Christmas this year? Uh, comment down the video, please. Bye!